allowing additional attempts for assignments. So sometimes it happens where we set up an assignment that it only has a single attempt and yet we, we find ourselves in a situation where we want a student to have another attempt. Inside of the system there is another way to do that. Of course you can go back to uh, where you, wherever you have deployed your assignment and give it multiple attempts, but that gives it for everybody. If we're not looking to do that specifically, what we want to do is, is have a specific student to have uh, an additional attempt. What we need to do is go down to the Grade Center. So here we can go to Grade Center and if you click on the little arrow just to the right of it, it will take us directly to the Full Grade Center or we can expand it and go to Full Grade Center. Either way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the full grade center just to make sure that we can find the column. And remember we created that example assignment column. And right here demo student has attempted that a column. We see that it has a needs grading here. But let's say we, we've looked at this assignment and we want to give them another attempt. What we need to do is click on view grade details. So we'll click on the action link item that, that appears once we hover over this student's attempt. We click on view grade details. And this is a little counterintuitive, but this is where we're going to find the option that we're looking for. So it's going to give us some information about their current attempts, and what it tells us is this user has submitted the maximum number of attempts allowable. But if we want to, we can give the student one more attempt. So we can click on the allow additional attempt. And then it's going to say, okay, we're going to create a new attempt for this user and that will actually give them another shot at this assignment. So here, right here, we can see that they have multiple attempts now. One that needs grading, that was one that they previously submitted, and then one that is in progress that they still can submit to. Again, this is still subject to the due date inside of the assignment. So if you give them an additional attempt and the due date is already passed, you know, when they submit it, it's going to be marked as late. If you give them an additional attempt and you've already set the availability so that it has disappeared, the student will not be able to see it and will not be able to resubmit. So remember that if you are allowing multiple submissions uh, that you, you may need to go to the properties and you can see one of our other uh, video tutorials on that and modify the properties on that specific assignment to make sure that it is both available um, to the student so that they can see it and that if you want to adjust the due date you can. So again you pop back in there you want to make sure that the display date is, is set properly and that the due date is set for you as well. So that is how to create an additional attempt for a student.